Okay, so we have created the line object, the M text, and the circle. In this video, we're going to create an arc. By now, you should already be familiar or you have uh, already be accustomed to the way how to create the how to form or establish the code blocks so I have created it already we don't need to keep typing it again and again we will try to reduce the number of typing now the important thing is you should have already been very familiar with the way that we are coding from these uh, three different uh, objects so let's let's now focus on the actual code chains where we are doing the creation of the object but I still left out the BT later on we will also be uh, creating that prior to us developing our code so for now let's just leave it here so all we need to do now is bt declare the block table and that should be coming from the trans.get object and from the database block table id and with the open mode dot for read and next is the block table record as block table record and the btr should be trans.get object bt block table record that model space open mode that for write all right next we have to uh, create the arc object so what are the needed parameters to create a, an arc object first one is we need the center point we also need the radius we also need the start angle and the end angle so we have four let us start with the center point so let's call this a center PT as point 3d equals new point 3d let's create that one from 10 10 and 0 x equals 10 y equals 10 and z equals 0 and now the radius of the arc let's call that as arc rod as double equals 20 and let's define the angle start angle as double in radians just as one and that also let's also create an end angle also as double equals a three and now that we have all these uh, parameters we can create the arc object now so let us call our variable as arc as arc equals new arc and we supply the parameters we have here the center point center point radius start and end angle so center point then next is the radius our variable is called arc rod and start angle and angle okay and next one is we have to append this arc object into our block table record so btr dot append entity the arc object and as usual we need to add into the transaction Okay, and we have to commit the transaction. Okay, so that's about it for the arc. 
let's just do some clean up here let us save our project so before we do a build we have to make sure that we close AutoCAD first otherwise we will get the same error again okay and now do a rebuild All right, and let's open AutoCAD. Okay, let us load our plugin. Type in the net load command. Select this uh, DLL file. Click on always load. So if we type in, we now have our arc here. So all together, we have one, two, three, four. These are all our methods. So let's try the draw arc. There you go. Let's zoom extents. Yeah. This is our arc. All right. So give this a try. Play around with the radius, the angle, and the center point, and see how it goes. In the next video, we're going to create a polyline object. I'll see you there.